it's been a while since I did an update uh, and I guess for my own purposes because nobody really watches these but I'm doing this for my own record keeping on some level thought I'd do one real quickly here so it's uh August 19th 2022 and uh just want to give you a quick peek at what the hives are doing. As you can see, this uh, second hive that I split earlier this year, it's done really well so far. It got so many bees in it that I had to give them that uh, third hive body and I've got a super on it. I To give them extra ventilation, I put the, I don't know if you can really see, but I put the cover on, the top cover on a little ski wampus just to help them get some more airflow through there because they seem to be getting fairly warm, especially during the heat of the summer. A lot of them were just gathering all over the front of the boxes. So I thought, uh, you know, give them some more room, get some more ventilation. Hopefully they'll be happier. So that one's doing really well. Um, oh, that's not good. That uh, new hive body is already kind of cracking. I'll have to see how that's doing. Anyway, um, I'm going to check the super, see how it's going, if they're still putting honey down in it. Uh, the other hive over there, the first hive, it seems to be doing really well too. Not quite as well as this second hive, but uh, it's, uh, I don't have a queen excluder on that one. And last time I checked it, which was about 10 days ago, uh, it was, they were putting down a good bunch of honey in that super. So I'm really hopeful that in a couple weeks or a month or so, I'll be able to collect that honey and the honey from that one. A little breezy today, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, bees get a little grumpy when it's breezy and you open up their hive. But This is the first hive, and I'm just looking at the super. But if you can see, I've pulled three frames out, and each of them essentially looks like this. They're about 75 to 80% fully capped honey. And that's the fourth frame in, and it's in the same situation. So... We are close to harvest for this super, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's looking like all of them, all of the frames. I mean, look at that. There we go. Without the queen excluder, the queen has come up into the super. You can see right here, these big balls right there. I've got some drone brood, but that's no big problem. Uh, We'll just take care of that when it comes time to harvest uh, but this super is looking really really good just finished looking into the first hive and holy crap that queen is extraordinarily productive all of a sudden um, I just I went carefully through the first upper box and seven frames almost 100% brood in various stages of development. Uh, and then the last three frames, almost 100% capped honey. Um, so they're doing well. Uh, I, I have to, hold on. I have to consider possibly getting a, uh, a new hive body on it because there are so dang many bees that are there already and more that are about to be born in the next two weeks. Um, so it's uh, doing well. Um, no signs of a swarm. There were some uncupped queen cells, but there was nothing in them, or uncapped. There was nothing in them, so I just left them there. And then I looked very quickly into the bottom box because they all seemed kind of agitated at that point. I was like, okay, I'm just going to look real quick and see how you're doing. But that first hive, much better than I had expected. So now it's time to look at this big boy the three box second hive. First peek inside the second hive, I've taken the outer cover off. And so this is at the top of the honey super, so four boxes up. They definitely still work in the honey super. I'm hoping that they've started doing the same thing with the third hive body. Okay, so just pulled a frame out of the honey super on this second hive and you can see it's a lot I mean a lot of nectar in there um, but they haven't really started capping anything off um, and that's kind of what I expected 
because I added a third hive body. So their focus is gonna be diverted to that as well as the honey super. Um, and, you know, they got other things to do now. But we'll, I'm still holding out hope. Maybe I'll get something out of this one later in the year. Okay, so this is what I was afraid of. I was hoping it wouldn't be this way, but it is. So this is the third hive body that I put on because they definitely needed more space. But I didn't do anything to the frames. I just put them in as they came from the store. It's now been 10 days, and if you see, they have done nothing to the foundation. And it's because they just don't like laying, putting new wax all the time on plastic. Um, so I've got to do something to help them figure out how to use these frames. Because uh, if they don't, very quickly, then they're going to have a big empty box come winter that, that uh, is no use to them. So what I've done, I took this beeswax that I rendered earlier in the year, and I am going to just take it and rub it on the frames and get a little built up. I'll do that on all the frames and hopefully what that does is that kind of signals to them, let, put wax here and that will help them start actually developing this box. All right, that was a process, but I've now scraped a thin layer of wax onto every side of every frame and hopefully that'll be enough to let the bees know, hey, you can put wax down here and this space is yours. Um, at least that's the hope. So maybe if I come back in 10 days from now, this will actually be having some activity because there was absolutely nothing going on in it. After waxing those frames, I've decided to just call it quits on inspecting that hive because it's getting gustier and gustier and I just don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna be bugging them too much when it's all stormy outside. Uh, so I'll look at that in a couple days maybe and hopefully they're okay and hopefully in a few days I'll see that they're laying down some new wax on that in that third box. Uh, better do something with it quick because they've only got about a month. I'm inside now and you can see yes I uh, I do have a lot of Santas on my shelves. <laughs> Keep them up all year long. Anyway um uh, I don't know if that what I did out there with the beeswax is going to work. It's kind of a stopgap. I'm hoping it works. Uh, what I've seen other people do is they actually melt the wax and then they roll it on with a roller. Um, I don't have time for that. Uh, so I'm doing the best I can just by scraping the wax on and hoping that that's enough. Anyway, uh, when, uh, when I open them up again, I'll check and update things.